We're going to go live now to Tel Aviv and speak with Mark Regev, who is senior advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, Mark, good to have you back with us. Thank you very much for joining us again. Uh, what can you tell us about these two individuals who have now been released? Whose custody are they in at this point, and what condition are these two older women in? So I, unfortunately, Martha, can't say anything at all until anyone is back in Israel. I can say this. Hamas is exploiting the hostages. Obviously, we're happy with anyone who, who comes home. Mm -hmm. But as your reporter just said, they've got over 200 people. And releasing two, and they want to project themselves as, I don't know, as a normal uh, political organization, as a humanitarian organization. But what is the truth? This is a brutal uh, terrorist organization that, as your reporters just said, is capable of the most terrible, terrible, horrific violence and uh, they're playing with people's lives, they're playing with people's families. And the call has to be that all the hostages need to be released now, mm -hmm. immediately and unequivocally, and nothing less. Uh, that's straightforward. And if Hamas is, is now releasing uh, two people, and let's wait before I can confirm that officially, but if they are in fact doing so, it's only because that organization is under massive pressure, massive military pressure from the Israeli armed forces, massive public and diplomatic pressure across the world. And uh, we've got to keep that pressure up if we want our people home. Yeah. So how much do the other 220 people weigh into the decision about a ground invasion? And, and is a ground invasion actually going to happen in, in that kind of in the way that we would picture that? Is that still still going to happen, Mark? It's still very much on the cards, though I can't go into any details whatsoever, as you would understand about mm -hmm. the timing of such a, 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 an offensive and where it would happen. But I can tell you this. Our goal in this operation remains the same. We will dismantle Hamas's military machine and we will uh, uh, destroy its political control of the Gaza Strip. Israelis should not have to live in the sort of situation that we lived at at 6 o'clock in the morning on uh, Saturday, October 7th. Uh, we don't have to live with a terrorist army right next to our civilian population, this brutal terrorist enclave on our southern border. No country should have to live that way. We won't live that way. What about the, the Gazan civilians and the situation that they find themselves in reports that some of them say they don't want to leave because they are afraid they won't be allowed to come back, that Israel will prevent them from coming back, and others, according to reports, who are being held against their will as human shields by Hamas. That's where those reports are 100 percent correct, uh, Martha, 100 percent correct. We know for a fact that Hamas is telling people don't leave future combat zones, become martyrs for our cause, and those who nevertheless try to leave are often being forcibly uh, 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 stopped from doing so by Hamas roadblocks. And you know, in a normal country like the United States or, or Israel, we have our militaries to protect our people. Yes, that's the job of the military, to protect the people. But in, in Hamas's case, that is inverted. Uh, they use their people to protect their military. Uh, uh, it just shows what sort of values these people are. But we should have no illusions about our enemy here. We saw the sort of violence Hamas is capable on the... I mean, they, they shot young people in a pit uh, uh, with machine guns, just, just massively massacring young people. They, they killed parents in front of their uh, 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 children and children in front of their parents. I myself have seen bodies of children in cots riddled with bullet holes. These people... Are, are capable of the worst possible violence, and they are evil and they must be defeated. Is the United States urging delay because of the hostages? Listen, the hostages are a, a crucial priority for us too. Uh, and we want every one, last one of them out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like it's a priority for the United States and not a priority for Israel, it's a priority for everybody. But we're convinced that keeping the pressure up on Hamas and its allies is crucial in getting every last hostage out. So Bibi Netanyahu, the prime minister, said that uh, if Hezbollah acts, if they attack from the north, that it would be the biggest mistake of their lives. How much, how concerned are you that that is part of what's going to happen next? We don't want it to happen, but we know it could happen. 
Hezbollah is Hamas's twin uh, brother. Uh, they're both brutal terrorist organizations. They both share the same extremist ideology, and they're both Iranian proxies. Now, we're watching Hezbollah closely, and I can tell you this, Martha. If Hamas unfortunately succeeded in surprising us on Saturday morning two weeks ago and killed our people, Hezbollah in the north will not surprise us. We're watching closely. Mm -hmm. And if they attack us, we are ready. Our forces are prepared. We're mobilized. And they can expect an immediate and forceful Israeli response. And, and the, the ones who will suffer the most are the innocent people of Lebanon who have suffered so much tragedy over the last decade. Their country has been falling apart. Their economy has collapsed. The political situation in Lebanon is in turmoil. And then Hezbollah is going to inflict upon them a war with Israel that they really don't want. Uh, 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 I can only hope for the Lebanese people that Hezbollah doesn't do this. Mark Wagev, thank you very much, Mark. Uh, we appreciate you speaking with us, uh, and we hope to speak with you again soon. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.